Time now for some live Q&A. You guys know the drill by now. Use hashtag Cowboys or try and super chat. We'll try and get that up too if you guys want your comments or questions featured on the show. Karen Durham, is the length of Dak's contract the sticking point between the Cowboys and Dak? I think that is a sticking point. I, I think that in reality, it's not just one thing. They might have already figured that out. But the length also impacts the average. For example, if Dak were to go with a, let's just say, four-year deal, it would probably look a little bit less per year. It would probably be closer to that 33.534. But Dak's team isn't stupid. They know the salary cap goes up each year. The salary cap could explode in three years. They want to get Dak back to the open market in free agency. The Cowboys typically like five, six, even seven-year deals. If you go to the back end of that type of contract, you have to increase the average per year. So the shorter the deal, the lower the per year amount. The longer the deal, the greater the per year amount and of course the guaranteed money as well so that is a sticking point i believe but it's all interconnected winston shan with a several years old photo of one james yoder here let's say dak and amari are re-signed how would you use the money if we let go of robert quinn and byron jones um i might try and throw money at some defensive tackles at that point um i think that's where the best value is going to be, um, I would try and re-sign one of Quinn or Jones, quite frankly, but I look at the defensive tackle market, which is deep, talented, and good. I think that's a strong option there. Jordan Thomas wants to know about Tony Jefferson. I think he kind of falls into the uh, Rashad Jones category. Kind of coming off down year, was banged up as well. He's not the same guy that he was in his prime, but as a bridge option, as a bridge safety, you can still draft somebody, but now you don't have to draft somebody. I think that has value. I think that type of player, again, at the right cost, does carry value for the Dallas Cowboys. So that is something I would consider if I'm Dallas. Of course, what the cost ends up looking like for Tony Jefferson. So just keep that in mind. I think he makes some sense, but I think there are quite a few who make sense. Miguel Rodriguez why have they not restructured or cut Tyrone Crawford? Well, Crawford has expressed interest in a restructure, I, if the Cowboys want that. In reality, I think it's the lack of a new CBA. Once that is done, I think you'll, you'll get some traction on that. So, for example, normally when you restructure a deal, you take some of the base salary and make it unlikely to be earned incentives. For example, for Tyrone Crawford, you could make it, hey, you have to get 100 tackles or you don't get paid. He's not going to get 100 tackles. But if there is no new league year, all incentives are likely to be earned, which means they still count against the cap. So I think what's going to happen is, once that's done, the Cowboys and Crawford will try and figure out a new, a new restructure, if at all possible. Now, I'll remind you guys again, I have been told I got to hit 50K subs or else. The bosses have not yet told me what that is. We're now at 49869, which is super nice to be fair, but we're still just about 130 away. So can you guys help me out and get us to 50k as soon as possible? They're not telling me what the or else is. So quite frankly, I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I would like to get it done as soon as possible, and we'll do some fun celebration stuff as well. But Help, help a brother out here, and let's get to 50K sooner than later so I don't figure out what the or else is. All right, DJ Martin, how about we tag and trade Amari and a mid-round pick for Stefan Diggs? I am all aboard that idea, and I think the Cowboys, too, would have interest in that because Stefan Diggs' contract is so team-friendly, you're paying $12 million for him. The issue is, I don't have any idea why Minnesota would want to do that deal. A, they wouldn't save very much by trading away Diggs. They would have to pay Amari Cooper as well. So you're paying two receivers to get one of them, and to only get a mid-round draft pick back doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If Diggs does get moved, because his contract is so team-friendly and team-favorable, I just have a tough time seeing a mid-round pick getting it done and have to give up a whole lot more. Alex wants to know, as Lisa tries to trigger me, uh, would you like a Mario to pick up in a Dak tag and trade? No, because why would I get worse at quarterback? 
I, I liked Marcus Mariota a lot coming out of, of college. He was not good the past couple years. As a backup, I have a lot of interest. To plug him in as my starter, I feel like I'm asking to have a really down season. Jordan Thomas, longtime watcher. Thank you, Jordan. How much say does McCarthy actually have in personnel? Will he be able to fire players who mess up? Example, Montgomery on that kick return. I think that's really more to be determined at this point. Uh, he will have input. The Cowboys have always given their coaches, I would argue, too much, but they've always given input to those players. It's not like McCarthy, though, has GM powers. That's still going to be Will McClay slash Stephen Jones, but it is going to be more of a, a team operation when it comes to making decisions. So, yes, McCarthy will have input, but it's not like this is a Bill Parcells type of move where he gets to make all the decisions in the end. There is all kinds of Cowboys gear on sale at chatsports.com slash Cowboys. That t-shirt, by the way, I actually have that exact one. It's still on sale. It is one of my favorite t-shirts. I absolutely love it. It's one of the best things that I own. And there's a lot more than just t-shirts, too. There's hats. There is, there's jerseys that are sometimes on sale as well. There's, there's little quarter zips. There's hoodies. There's all kinds of stuff. So to make your life easier... I've got that link for you in the comment section, chatsports.com slash Cowboys. All you got to do is click that link, and you can go shop and see what's available on sale right now. Super chat from Miguel Garcia. Are the Cowboys still planning to get O.J. Howard? Um, I don't ever think that they were planning to get O.J. Howard. I think there was interest in O.J. Howard, but tough to plan on something when it takes to the tango. If O.J. Howard is available... For a second round pick. I have tremendous interest. Now the Bucks haven't wanted to move on from him. They could have at last year's trade deadline. If he becomes available, I would love to move my second round pick. I think that is absolutely the route to go. And if I can get him for a third, even better for the Dallas Cowboys. Back to Karen again. What are the chances that the Cowboys will have the transition the wow the franchise and transition tags available? It really comes down to, is the CBA approved? We're not going to know that for a little bit. The deadline is now March 14th at really midnight, so stay up if you want, I guess. If it is approved, if there is a new CBA, you only get one. If it gets voted down by the players in the union, you get two. So I wouldn't anticipate necessarily a Amari or a Dak deal until that March 15th window closes. Because if it gets voted down, the Cowboys actually have more leverage in contract talks. And they might be able to save a million or half million or something else on that one. So I'll put it at best 50%. I think it passes, but we'll have to wait and see just a couple more days. Big Daddy wants to know about the possible NFL draft without fans in attendance due to Go Bear. Reminder, if you missed it earlier, YouTube doesn't like it when we talk about that thing, you know, the thing that got the NBA season suspended, uh, March Madness canceled as well. Apparently, it's too sensitive of a topic. So instead, we're going to call it Go Bear. That way, we can still have the discussion that we need to have without freaking out YouTube. But back to your question, Big Daddy, on NFL Draft Without Fans. It's still early for me to, to, to know for certain. There is about six weeks of time to figure that out. So we're going to have to wait and see. I, it is a very real possibility, but it's kind of all speculation right now. So we'll have to just wait to see what ends up happening on that front. I do think that is a possibility. The, the I guess if there's an upside to this, the NFL draft can be done remotely. You don't have to have everybody there. It's not as much fun, but it is still possible to pull off. The NFL not in season right now. That's, coming up, that's not coming up for a little bit here. So I want to know from you. Everyone predict in the comment section. What will be the Cowboys' record in 2020? They went, of course, 8-8 eight eight last year. It was not great. They really should have been a 10-win team. They lost all of their close games. If that's unusual. They should regress back to the mean next year. Frankly, I think 10-6 and six is a very real and a very likely possibility for this Cowboys team. The talent might drop a little bit. If you win 50% of your close games, you're a double-digit win team. That's how the Cowboys should be. I think 10-6 and six is a minimum baseline for this team. All right, Akil, would you rather pay Dak or Am Amari to see if they are really worth their asking price? I think it is obvious to get Dak done 
not exclusive on Amari, and if CBA doesn't pass, transition tag Jones. I am on board with that. <laughs> um, I, I think in reality, if, if you're trying to juggle everything as best as humanly possible, get Dak done. That's the that's the best way to go. Then you have some flexibility. Amari. I, you, you're good. You could have flexibility on one player. I would rather have that on Amari, just because of the way it's easier to replace a receiver than it is a quarterback. Super chat from Zeke Feaster. No more Brady talk. Dak's numbers were better 11-5. and five. Yeah, he's right. I, I know it's the quarterback, and we foolishly made quarterback win wins a thing despite my best effort. But yeah, guys, Dak played really well last year. Was he perfect? No, absolutely not. That is the nature of quarterbacks. Everyone misses throws. He was really good. Is it reasonable to be concerned about paying so many guys so much money? Of course it is. That's life in the NFL. It's a little bit scary, but he was really good, guys. All right, Miguel Rodriguez. Is there any player in the NFL that is on the trade market that you would trade a first-round pick for? Mm, good question. I, I know it's a great receiver class. I would have interest in Stephon Diggs because his contract is actually very team-friendly, and I know for a fact I'm getting a premier receiver. Um... Beyond that, I don't want to give it up for O.J. Howard. Unless there's a surprise player that's not available, I don't see a first-round pick. Now, if you want to include a trade down as an option in round one, well, that's, that's a whole different discussion. Football innovator. Do you think Dak is worth the money? I guess it, A, depends on define the money. If it's like $45 million, God, no, of course not. If it's like 33 34 yeah. I'll, I'll use this analogy again, and I've used it before, and I forget who had it. It wasn't mine. Maybe it was Bob Strong. I don't remember who it was. Quarterbacks are like gas. Gas is too expensive. But you know what? What are your other options here? You don't have an electric car. You have a normal old car. You have to fill it up with gas. Otherwise, you might run out of gas on the highway, and then you're screwed. So I know quarterbacks are overpaid. I get it, but the reality is... You're better off just paying the gas price, paying your quarterback, than trying to gamble and do other things. Elijah Williams wants to know, what game do you see being the toughest next year on the Cowboys' schedule? Well, I always feel the need to at least mention the Philadelphia Eagles. They're going to be your single biggest competition for the NFC East. Beyond that, you know, you play the AFC North, so the Pittsburgh Steelers and Baltimore Ravens both jump out to me if Big Ben is healthy. You do also have to play the NFC champions. That is the San Francisco 49ers. In the end, I think I'll go with the Baltimore Ravens. A, we know the Cowboys have had issues defending mobile quarterbacks in the past. And B, that's a road game for Dallas. We mentioned the Eagles, and I, I saw this on Twitter a couple days ago, and I thought it was, it was pretty darn funny. Would you become a fan of your rival for 15 million. Type Y for yes and for no. Would you become an Eagles, a Redskins, or a Giants fan for 15 million cash in your bank account? If you type in yes, I applaud you for your honesty. If you type in no, you're a liar. Take the 15 million. That you are set for so long. I will become the world's biggest Eagles fan. If, if, if someone gave me $15 million today, I'm sorry, guys. This is now the Eagles report. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm taking the $15 million and I, I will go be a hardcore NBA fan. I'm sorry. All right, truly game time. Do you think the, the Cowboys let Quinn walk to save money on other needs of the team? Hashtag paid act. He says 11 and 5, second in conference. Ooh, it means the Eagles are good. Don't like that. You don't have to let Quinn walk to save money. Uh, you can, but I think the Cowboys have already opted into choosing to not pay Byron Jones instead. That's he, he gone. He, he ain't going to be back with the Cowboys. I, I'm disappointed, but welcome to the reality. Don't let the Cowboys fool you. They can spend money on a lot of players. Now, they like to have some flexibility. That's fine. You can make it work. So if the cow is so, it might not be in the best financial sense to do something, but you can make it happen if you're the Dallas Cowboys. I appreciate all the super chats. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. From Zeke Feaster, 
What really upsets me the most about people saying to cut Dak slash get rid of him is most of these people were saying cut Romo, Dak's our future. This is true. I'll take it a step further, though. The people who are saying to to bench to, to dump Dak were saying Romo's not that good and are now idolizing him. When you should have been like me and just worshipped Romo from the beginning. That would have been the correct decision. I don't, and I know it's how fandom works. I don't think people have a great understanding for how the rest of the NFL looks at the quarterback spot. It's not that pretty. Bro, Dak, I know he's expensive, but he's good. It's worthwhile. All right, the Popos, another super chat. Thank you so much. He says, I'm broke now. Heck yeah, go Eagles. I, I know it's, it is dis, not, just, not disingenuous. It feels blasphemous to say you would take the $15 million over your favorite team, the Cowboys, for all of us here, except for you trolls in the comments section. But it's $15 million, man. I ain't got that kind of money laying around. I'm sorry. All right, another one from Yo Squiggly Man. Can we keep Byron, cut Cooper, and draft a new receiver? I love this receiver class, even though I do want Delpit or Kinlaw. This is a point I've made before, and I don't want it to seem like it, I'm saying it is super easy to replace Amari Cooper. It, it's not. That's not how things work. But I believe it is easier to re-sign Byron. You kind of blew, I think, blew your shot on that one let Cooper walk or trade him, and then draft a new receiver in a great wide receiver class. So of the two, I'd actually prefer that route. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed to work. Doesn't mean it's the only option out there, but it's one that I like. In the end, I don't really anticipate the Cowboys choosing to go that route when it comes to free agency, the draft, and all of their offseason moves. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.